Hi, it's Matt with Custom Car Grills. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the 3M Redback foam tape to install a grill onto a vehicle. The first thing you want to do is check the fit of the grill insert itself. You want to make sure it's a really snug fit all the way around the existing opening. Next, we're going to want to use some masking tape to draw a line where the grill currently meets the bumper. I like using this blue painter's tape. It's really low adhesion, uh, so it removes easy and uh, it contours fairly well. I'm going to cut a couple strips here and there around the curves, um, but overall this is, uh, is going to be a pretty easy method to just draw a line of where the grill currently sits. You're going to want to go all the way around the grill, so the top, bottom, both sides. Uh, when we get to the foam tape part, we're going to line the entire area uh, with, the, with the sticky foam tape in order to get a good seal all the way around. So you want to make sure you draw a line to get the complete outline. Then I'm just going to go ahead and take out the grill here. Uh, that was held in pretty tight as is, but uh, just go ahead and pop it out. You can see right here we have a very clean line, very exact of where the grill was meeting the bumper. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the 3M tape and cut off a little strip. Typically I would like to do this in one continuous strip, but due to the, some of the contours on the side, we will have to uh, make some smaller pieces. It'll buckle from time to time on sharp bends, but uh, right here you can see the tape uh, is very close to the blue painter's tape. And here's a shot right now of a complete outline of all of the 3M tape. And you can see there's a little bit of space in between the painter's tape and the 3M tape, but for the most part, it's, uh, it's very close. I apologize for some of the glare on that last shot. Uh, right here, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the painter's tape. Like I said, it's pretty low adhesion. It's gonna come off easy. And what we're gonna end up with now is an outline of that 3M foam tape where the grill is going to meet the bumper. So what we're going to do now is remove the backing and I went ahead and just kind of lifted the edges here ahead of time. Uh, sometimes that can be a time consuming process to get that red back off. But uh, go ahead and take the red back off all at the same time around all the pieces you'd used. And what we're going to do now after the red back is off is actually push the grill into the tape. The idea here is obviously you drew a line of where the grill should meet the bumper. You have the tape on the vehicle and then you're going to put the tape onto the grill itself. I'm going to go ahead and push this in. You have to be kind of firm because the tape is relatively sticky, but generally speaking it will kind of pop in when you get it set to the right, uh, right depth. And you'll see right here it should pop in probably right about now. You'll see a little bit of the tape on the bottom. Not too much, but um, when it's all said and done, you'll see just a barely, barely thin outline of where the tape is. As I mentioned before, usually I like to do the tape all in one continuous piece. You'll see there's a gap there as a result of this install, but uh, let's go ahead and kind of give it a test here, make sure it doesn't come off. This is the most important part. You want to make sure it's securely on. I'm really yanking on this thing. You can see the bumper moving. It's on there securely. You want to make sure that this is on very solid. This is one of the installs where there really isn't much of a backup plan where it's attached to you know, the vehicle with a screw or a cable tie or wire. So safety is first when you're doing this kind of installation. Thanks for watching. I hope you like what you saw. If you have any questions, feel free to email me.